Stephanie and I'm here with Viv Simmons who came back out to the US to do another cover for us. Welcome. Thank you. Viv presented an idea to me a while ago about doing a Garden of Eden theme which included a tree and a snake and of course the forbidden apple. So how did you begin creating these? I basically created the snake using foil and looked at different forms of snakes, pictures and so forth to get ideas on colour combinations and that sort of thing and then sculpted him out of acrylic. So you'd use the foil as the guide and then put acrylic over it? I used to build them completely out of acrylic but because of the weight um, sometimes it's a bit easier to use foil just as your base and then you can coat it with acrylic. You did some of the work ahead of time because it takes so long but when you came in you added leaves to the tree. How did you create those? The leaves I created on sculpture forms so I just formed my branches with a golden um, brown sort of acrylics, coloured acrylics, and then with the leaves I moulded them onto the sculpture form, onto the branches then and there, and then scraped, used like a spatula type thing to remove them, and then attached them on with a bit of um, coloured acrylic. How did you get the two tone in each leaf? You're picking up two different colours, so you dip in one colour, and then dip in the other colour, and then apply. You also came up with the idea of adding vines to add another element to the model's nails. Again, you used foil for that, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Very thin foil. Another thing that you can use is wire, thin wire. Um, I find foil easy enough to use, so I've just rolled the foil to make a very thin sort of thread of, um, of foil and then wrapped it around my own finger to give it the shape and then placed acrylic around it, so almost coated it in acrylic. So the model came in today and she had shorter nail beds. How did you compensate for that? I mixed up a little bit of pink, a little bit of peach with a pink acrylic and extended her nail bit to make it look more elongated. And I noticed the nails are really thin. How did you work with the acrylic to make sure that they stayed so paper thin? By not applying a lot. You basically work quite thin, um, flatten your product out, and the reason I kept it thin was so that I could carve it out quite easily to get that carved effect. After you sculpted the gold, you went in and applied another coat of acrylic? Clear acrylic, yes, to cap it and to give it the, um, the shape and the structure after you finished the nails and filed them, what did you do next? I used my electric file to carve out a section on the inside of the nail um, using a very, very fine drill bit. So I carved out like a groove in the nail, or completely right through the nail, and then used another size drill bit to scallop the edges of the nail. So after the nails were completed, it was time to add the 3D elements back to it. How did you attach the snake and the tree? The snake I just attached with some two-sided tape just so he could sit there and she could flex her finger and be able to move. Um, the tree, we held it, I held it in position, applied some acrylic on the base and then built the roots up around so that it wrapped around the nail to be able to hold it on there for her. I noticed that the tree and the snake were, for the most part, pretty light. Was that because of the tin foil underneath? The foil did make a difference. Um, on their own, on the end of the nail, the, the tree was a bit heavier because it was sitting on the very, very end of her nail. but if it was made out of acrylic and solid acrylic, it would have been a lot heavier. While Viv was in town, she competed in the Nail Pro Anaheim show and won first place for her 3D acrylic nails. Congratulations. Thank you. And I'm so glad that you came out here to compete and to do another cover for us. We were truly very lucky to have you here. You're very talented and it amazes me completely what you do with acrylic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>